Hey, what's going on everyone? So we're out here with the RV today and I have a few projects planned. One of them is an HD TV antenna that's supposed to be about the best on the market and I'm going to be doing a test on it. It was provided to me by King who is a maker of satellite antennas as well as all sorts of different antennas for the RV industry and hopefully this thing's going to really improve the high definition over the air frequency or over the air signal that is projected near a lot of these RV campgrounds. So what I have here in front of me is the King OmniGo. This is a portable omnidirectional HD antenna. Basically, they claim you can watch HD TV for free, which is in essence the broadcasted high definition channels that many areas support. It's a pretty cool little setup. It's on this little tripod mount, and it's just a small little dish with a piece of coax that runs to your trailer. So I'm going to be really interested to see how this thing performs and if it can pick up any HD signals because we have something similar to this, but it uses a little flat, flexible antenna and it does not work real well where we're at. So if this can give us a better signal where we're at, then it's definitely gonna be pretty impressive because we are in South Texas right now and outside of any major city. Uh, the closest city to us right now is Kingsville, Texas. So let's see how this works. Now that we have everything unboxed, this is a magnetic base, of course, because my truck is aluminum. I will demonstrate. It's pretty much useless on an aluminum truck, but I can always Hook it to my wife's navigator right there. Tripod. Looks like you set it up almost like you'd set up a tent. Coax cable. Dish. Instructions. DC outlet. AC outlet. And then your conversion cable to run it to your TV. Plus a nifty case to hold it. I'm going to put all this together, plug it in, see how it works. Now, one thing I love about these tripod stands, and I didn't know this was the specific type that it is, but it's pretty easy to unfold. And that's it. So to mount this dish on top, you simply line up the grooves, twist it, and then tighten up these little twist clamps on top, and it will secure it. And keep the wind from knocking it off or anything like that. Now from the outside, all you're going to need is the coax cable, the antenna, and the tripod. On the inside, you're going to be using this specific piece to connect between the coax connector inside of your trailer to the back of the TV, and then you're going to power it with either the DC 12-volt outlet or your AC 110 outlet, which is what I'm going to use. So this goes inside of the RV, this stays outside. So we're now at the water control center in the RV. This is actually right outside of the RV where both the cable and satellite connections are fed into the RV. We're simply connecting the coax from the antenna to the cable input jack on the RV. And this is going to feed the actual signal from the dish to the TV in the living room as well as the rest of the TVs. And then the other side is going to connect to the bottom of your dish. The tripod has these little plastic clips that are designed to hold the, the coax itself and guide it down one of the legs. But for the sake of testing it, I'm just going to allow it to hang right here. I have it sitting on a picnic bench. So on our RV, we have both the coax as well as the 12 volt socket and then a 110 back there. You know, I might try the 12 volt socket simply because it's available and um, I don't need to run a power supply to run additional cords here. So let's see how that works. So we're back at the water control center and what we're going to do is um, we're going to wire this device to the cable going into the entire RV mainly because this will give all the TVs in the RV the ability to pull from the dish and each TV will have the ability to view cable independently in the different rooms in the RV. We have to connect to the power source up top. It is slightly recessed so I'll have to use an extension cord to make that connection but it should work out great. Now let's see how it works. Just powered on the TV. Now I need to go through the menu to look for channels. And 
scan. Now I'm going to be interested to see if those RF channels, which it's up to 23 so far, and six digital channels now, how well they come in. Because like I said before, with the other setup I had, I couldn't pull any channels. So we're up to nine digital channels and 29 RF channels. And it's going to be interesting to see how well this thing performs. So it looks like we're at 12 digital, almost 70 RF. But let's see what it actually finds for us. Have the volume turned down. Yeah, coming in pretty good. The first channel had a bit of pixelization, but I have to say, it's picking up pretty much all the digital channels. And again, I wasn't able to pick up any digital channels with the prior setup I had. Pretty impressive, guys. Well, guys, I can honestly say I'm impressed with this setup. It's basically this little HD antenna dish on a tripod mount. Comes with bags to hold everything. Comes with your coax cable. I have it wired into my water closet here. I used an extension cord because this is uh, recessed right here and the plug wouldn't go directly into the uh, 110 outlet their little adapter which I have connected to the entire RV's cable connection so technically I should be able to find these channels on all of the TVs in my RV we have three but uh, you know I'm really impressed with this setup and so far it's working really really good we're picking up 12 digital channels and uh, they're coming in really clear so I'm just thrilled to death with this so far it's a it's a good setup for comparison purposes, this is the other setup that we had. It's a flexible, you know, panel antenna with a piece of adhesive here. We never used the adhesive, but we were never able to pick up any channels out here. I think at one point we picked up one, maybe two channels, but they were very pixelated. This King setup is performing flawlessly, and you guys were able to see that we picked up quite a few channels, and they're all coming in really clear. So I would highly recommend this. So that's going to wrap up my installation of this King OmniGo antenna system. So far, it works really good. Big thumbs up. If I ever have any problems with it, you guys know I'll share it with you. Um, I will provide a link in the description if you're interested in getting one of these. And uh, I'll also provide you a link to King's website because they have a whole variety of products for antennas as well as satellite. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks, everyone. And for those of you that are wondering, the Navigator is probably going to be going away very soon and we're going to be replacing it with a completely different brand of SUV. It will not be a Ford, but Lincoln's going to be going away. The F450 is going to be around for a long time. So if you're getting tired of seeing it, I apologize, but that's not going anywhere.